Yes, it's all right. Go play. I'm Steve. Welcome to SFO. Uh, this episode, I you know, I, I get the feeling that my my fans out there they're often kind of looking over the fence at the other music review people and kind of thinking, can we can we go play with their toys? Because you know, you're in my house and you're kind of you know the Melissa and Doug toys. And so it's it's the end of the year, and a lot of websites slash magazines have been producing their best of the year lists, their top 100s, top 50s, whatever they are. A hundred is too much. I understand the need to be a little comprehensive, but is anyone really reading all of those blurbs for all 100 songs? Or are those basically just for the people looking for specific artists or songs to sort of have their tastes validated? I never did. Um, and <laughs> I write for magazines. We do a big list like that. Anyway, so what I wanted to do was just kind of See if we can vote on what the best of the best of lists are. And I'm just going to do singles because on SFO we only do singles. However, um, I must note that many publications have not released their best of lists. Not The Source, Hip Hop DX, Vibe, uh, Alternative Press, Decibel. I, think, I don't think Fader has. Um, a lot of publications haven't. But you know, at some point there's just so many lists. Anyway, so let's just let's just go kind of see what's been a who's got what. So let's start off with Billboard because you'd figure with Billboard, you know, it's the most meritocracy based list and won't be a lot of subjectivity. Well, that's where you're wrong. Their list is actually kind of surprisingly not just based on whatever top of charts and their charts are always screwed up by, you know, Taylor Swift. I think had one through ten for a while this year, maybe for several weeks. Anyway, not following me. Billboard, uh, number one, Steve Lacey, Bad Habits. Two, Beyonce, Break My Soul. Three, Harry Styles, As It Was. So that's pretty pretty standard. Lizzo, About Damn Time. Uh, Taylor clocks in at number five, Antihero. Then you get Bad Bunny. Uh, Tite Me Pregunto. Uh, Kendrick Lamar's N95. Rosalia Seoko. Okay, another Latino in their top ten. Uh, Thames, Free Mind. That's a bit of a strange pick. It's uh, Their rationale was it's grown uh, in the United States. In popularity, although it was released two years ago. And to round it out, Dove, not Dave, Dove Cameron, the boyfriend. Another bit of a surprise pick there. Okay, let's, let's move on to Time Out. Uh, number one, Rina Sawayama, This Hell, uh, Yoko Ishibashi, Ask Me How I Sleep at Night. Uh, you will, is that how you pronounce it? Y E U L E, Two Dead Inside, Eliza Rose, B O T A. Black, Pink, Pink Venom. This is pretty eclectic here. Alex G, Runner, Period, Tommy, On and On, Wet Leg. There we go. Finally a wet leg. But uh, it's Wet Dream. Oh, that other song came out last year. Never mind. Uh, Undeath, a metal band. What? The H-E double hockey sticks. A metal band on a year-end top ten list? Wow, Undeath. Head splattered in seven ways. Love that song. Um, Confidence Man, yeah, Holiday. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, Pitchfork. Quick note, um, Harry Styles was number three on the Billboard list. Pitchfork number 100 with uh, As It Was. Pitchfork number one, Always, Belinda Says. Okay, that's uh, interesting. Destroyer, June. Okay, looks like they're playing to the old crowd here. Uh, Glorilla and Hit Kid, FNF. Okay, Alex G, Runner, that's surprising. Beyonce, finally. Okay, Alien Superstar. Yeah, 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 spitting off the edge of the world. Rosalia Sioko, uh, is it so I feel like, whatever. Um, Alan Braxy and DJ Falcon, Step by Step. That would be your S vote pick. What did 50 people listen to that one? Um, Bad Bunny, Titi Me Pugunto, and Hikaru Utada, Somewhere Near Marseille. Okay, now Vulture. Let's see if we can get any sort of. We haven't. We've gotten Rosalia and Beyonce. Has Steve Lacey been on more than, more than one of these? No, he hasn't. Um, Taylor, no. So we don't have much consensus so far. Three lists. Vulture, Beyonce, Summer Renaissance. Ooh, that's not one of the ones that shows up. Uh, Pharrell and Tyler, the creator, 21 Savage, Cash and Cash Out. Bad Bunny, Después de la Paya. Oh, so Nazi de Me Uh Yule, right there, Bites on My Neck, different than Too Dead Inside. Yeah, 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 is Burning, so different than Spinning Off the Edge of the World. Haley Witters, oh, a country song. That's almost as rare as metal. Probably more rare. I don't think any 
genre gets less respect in country these days. Uh, Doichi and SZA, Persuasive Remix, note that. Uh, Sudan Archives, Homemaker, and then Glorilla FNF. Uh, Esquire, they didn't rank theirs, and they kept their list at 45. What, what are you doing? All right, so Time. Time Magazine does a list. Bad Bunny, Tito Me Pregunto, Tochi, Tokisha, Delinquente. That's a, okay. 1975, forgot about them. Part of the band, Glorilla FNF, Steve Lacey, Bad Habit, Student Archives, Chevy S10, so not Homemaker. Uh, Feels, I don't know that one. Finesse, oh, TikToker. Uh, Sam Smith and Kim Petras and Holy, Muna, Kind of Girl, and another country artist, Hardy, Jack. Jack, you my number one song. Uh, the Guardian, Steve Lacey, Bad Habit, Beyonce, Break My Soul, yeah, 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 Spinning Up the Edge, Weekend, Less Than Zero, Harry Styles, As It Was, this is pretty straightforward for The Guardian. Uh, Arctic Monkeys, There Better Be a Mirror Ball, Beyonce, Virgo's Groove, to Beyonce, uh, Ethel Kane, American Teenager, I, did, I reviewed an Ethel Kane song earlier this year, so that's, that's your restaurant pick, not that crazy guy, whatever that was, Ellen Braxy. Um, two Shell, don't know that one, Home. And Eliza Rose, B-O-T-A. So we're, okay, now we're starting to see a trend. We're getting a lot of Steve Lacey, Beyonce, yeah, yeah, yes. Uh, Harry Styles is showing up. Uh, okay, Student Archives. Interesting thing. Oh, Rolling Stone. I just forgot about Rolling Stone. They're falling down my list here. Bad Buddy, Titi Me Pregunto, Beyonce, Cuff It. Steve Lacey, Bad Habit. Taylor, Karma, Rosalia, Despecha, Not So Echo. Um, Quavo and Takeoff, Hotel Lobby. Sad face. That's the... Uh, Sentimental pick right there. Um, okay. Uh, Farrell and Tyler cash in. Uh, Beyonce, Break My Soul. Another two for Beyonce on Rolling Stone. Mirroring Guardian there. Uh, Harry Styles, As It Was. And Drake featuring 21 Savage, Jimmy Crooks. Slant. Beyonce, Break My Soul, Taylor Swift, Andy Hero, Oliver Sim. Hideous, number three in the year. Little Yachty, Poland. Woo, J&R Choi to the moon. We are off the charts at Slant. Hikaru Utada, somewhere near March Day. Sweet on Archives, Homemaker. Now we're getting a little more regular here. Ethel Kane, American Teenager, a little baby, right on. The Bats, expert in a dying field. That's kind of a surprise choice. It's like they were trying to squeeze some indie pop in there and kind of champing it a bit to do so. Like, what's next? Like, Mitski and Soccer Mommy? Well, actually, yep, it is. All right, Consequence of Sound. Paramore, this is why. Really, Paramore, questionable, 2022. Why are all their single digits in the rankings preceded by a zero? I guess the kind of magazine that ranks Paramore number one. Okay, uh, Pusha T, Diet Coke, yeah, okay. Um, Big Thief, there we go. The guys at Beats Per Minute are probably waiting to hear someone else nominate Big Thief. They're, they love the Big Thief. Um, Simulation Swarm, Beyonce, Covet, Barty Strange, oh, Heavy Heart, Florence the Machine, King, Nilifer Nyanya, The Dealer, Soul Glow, Gold Chain Punk, don't know that one, Harry Styles as it was, and Soccer Mommy Shotgun. And last, let's do Paste. Alex G, Runner, Big Thief, Simulations Forum, Angel Olsen, All the Good Times, Mama, Speeding 72, Wednesday, Bull Believer, Julia Jacqueline, Lydia Wears a Cross, Wet Leg, Angelica, Barty Strange, Heavy Heart, phew, about the... Level some racism accusations at pace. Way to keep the quota system alive there, kids. Um, always easy on your own and destroy your June. All right, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten lists. Um, let's see which one's the best here. Uh, carry the four. Add one or two there. Okay, uh, the winner is... Whoa, a timeout. Yeah, timeout. Uh, most eclectic of the lists, I thought, and there's metal on there. So if you're really looking for new guidelines for songs to listen to this year, I'd go with them. They seem like they're not just catering to some sort of zeitgeist, and they want you to be like us, though. They want you to find new things, and that's why Time Out is your winner for 2022 Best Best Songs list. All right, peace out. I'm not doing a list, so you can forget about that. Later.